hands together for Tyler Rothrock, everybody. Keep it going for Randy. And Chris, that's how you want to go out, man. Go out on just making fun of a group of people. That's how you want to do it. Yeah, I live in New York City now. Has anybody ever been there? You know, I'm from Nazareth originally, and I hated growing up there until I... New York makes you, like, love wherever you grew up. Because, like, I, not, like, it's a small town. Everybody knows each other's business. You're like, I got it out of here. And you go to New York City, you're like, I don't matter to anybody in this whole fucking city. Like, in my hometown, I could get a text from my mom saying, Tyler, our neighbor saw you at the pharmacy buying a pregnancy test with a girl. What do you have to tell me? I'd be like, I, I'm still in line right now. I just... <laughs> How do you know that already? And it's a plan B, we're gonna be fine. It's gonna work, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. I'm 28, I just turned 28, and I just found out that if like your bank account is in parentheses, you don't got that shit, that's not, I didn't know, I kept taking money out, the number got bigger, I'm like, these fucking idiots, right? Let's ride this one out. It'll, uh, and then they call me, they're like, this is overdraft protection. You've reached your limit. I'm like, looks like that's on you. I don't know. <laughs> this isn't my, you, I opened this bank account with the minimum amount. How did you not see it going this way? <laughs> I opened it with $50. You gave me 500 as a protection. That's like way more than I started with. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna keep it. Cause, cause in my mind, I'm like, if I have, if I, if I have $200, that means I have $700. Because I still have 500 parentheses dollars to go through. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go out, let's drink, right? I, the thing is, I took a class in high school where they should have told me that information. I took a class in high school called Adult Living. That was the name, that was the class. You, you would like, they would like teach you how to balance a checkbook with like 90 bucks in it. What shit not to drink underneath the sink. Like that was the things <laughs> you learned about in adult. We had to take care of a fake baby for a week. That was the assignment. Yeah, just keep it alive for one week. And you get an A. If it died before Thursday, you failed. If it, if it lived past Thursday, you got a C. That's how it was. <laughs> if you kept the fake baby alive for five days, you got a B in this class. And the thing is, like, two-thirds of the girls in my class are just like, can we use our real babies? We have real, <laughs> real babies. They would argue about who the better mom was. Like, you're in high school and your mother. This isn't a thing you can win. You're all bad people. This is bad. <laughs> all the dudes were like, we'll just get vasectomies. I mean, I mean we're young, but I don't want to deal with this shit. My, uh, the dude I live with next to is a retired cop in New York, which is, and he, they, when, when he retired, they gave him his cop dog, which is nice, unless, like, he's your neighbor, you know? Because I know that guy knows he's no longer a cop. Was that fucking dog no? Huh? I don't like taking elevators with them, you know? It's weird, like, I know it's in my backpack. Shut the fuck, you're not even a cop anymore, man. You're off duty. I don't give a shit what you smell. Stop barking. I don't want to deal with this, man. Because if, if you're in an elevator and a dog starts freaking out, the owner's like, oh my God, I don't know what got into him. He never does this. But if it's that dog, the guy's like, you must have weed or a bomb on you. Like, I don't know. The f I don't know. That's, that would be the worst way to get arrested, I think. If you like a retired cop dog. <laughs> barked you into a corner <laughs> until the real cop dog came. Like, that's like the worst citizen's arrest of all time. I just got scared because the, you know, that's like worse than getting pulled over by a cop on a Segway and I've seen that. And you should kill yourself. If that happens, you gotta go. Like if, if, I think cops would be surprised if they pulled over people on a Segway. They'd be like, is this, is this a fucking game show? What's going on? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be the cop that gets given the segue for the patrol unit. That's an embarrassing 
Monday morning briefing, right? <laughs> like, Johnson, you're gonna have the patrol car. Diaz, you're gonna be on the, uh, you're gonna be on the horse. And uh, Rothrock, you're gonna be on the Segway <laughs> in case there's a parking ticket or a baby fight that you have to fix. <laughs> It's weird living on, does anybody here live on their own? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Why, why do you live on your own? You're a pretty lady, what's up with that? You sound like a catch, can I move in with you? Is that fun? Okay, I'll move on to somebody else then, I guess. Anybody else want me to live with them and I can just do my own thing and like, it's weird, I, I just found out that I'm scared of ghosts terrified of ghosts. Never knew that about myself. This is how scared of ghosts I am. My roommate was out of town. I heard a noise in his bedroom. And I'm like, dude, I think our apartment's haunted. He's like, or we're being robbed. <laughs> He's like, go check on it. I'm like, no. I'm in my room with my shit. He's like, with your shit right now. So I'm not gonna remind him that there's more shit to be had. Maybe he'll steal something of yours that I have two of, and I'll give you that one, and then I'm not gonna let him, I'm not gonna like startle the burglar that's taking your shit. But I thought about it, what would you rather confront, a burglar or a ghost, what do you think? You'd rather confront a ghost? That's fucking stupid to me, that's, that's a brand new fear. A burglar, that's a human, I know how to handle that, I can run, I can hide, I can play dead. You can't play dead with a ghost. That's fucking disrespectful to the ghost, you know? You guys are a fun time. This is a fun. Everybody had good Christmases. I'm getting off. I'm, I got the one minute light. You have you have me for one more minute, and then I'm leaving to go hang out with my roommate and our new ghost friend. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home on the Segway. And I'm gonna go kill a fake baby. That's how that's so uh, we're all. That'd be cool if you saw me in the parking lot just beating the shit out of a fake baby. Because yeah? at first you'd be like, that guy's killing a baby. Oh, that's that comedian with a fake baby. That's funny. He carries on his joke for the whole night. I get it. What do they do with the fake babies like after? Like in every high school, there's just a room full of fake, fake babies being ready to be killed by juniors and seniors. And I, I thought that was a funnier thought. Uh, I, I said it anyway, but I thought it was going to be funnier for you guys. Good to me. It was fun to me. No, I, I should I should expect this life. I should have known this was how it's gonna go. Uh, I was I went to community college for uh, six years. I was there. I just I still get an email every month from them trying to get me back, man. They're like, hey Tyler, just a reminder. You're still only three credits shy. <laughs> finishing that associate's degree in general studies. I'm good, I'm good. That's the only time where it's better to not go back to school. Because right now my job resume, I can put some college. But if I go back and finish, I have to put from 2005 <laughs> to roughly 2015. <laughs> I was awarded an associate's degree in general studies, what's up? When do I start? Business cards on you? Let's fucking do this shit, right? How would that interview even go? I'd show up and be like, hey, Mr. Rothrock, come and take a seat. Actually, just stay standing by the door. Uh, it says here it took you a decade to learn a little bit about not that much shit. Uh, all right, you guys are a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of the night.